Okay, uh, watching Q&A. Remember, you can uh, send your web or video questions to our website. The address is on the screen. Our next question is a video. It's from uh, James Harrison in Turak, Victoria. My question is to Julie Bishop. Your leader, Tony Abbott, has continually questioned the validity of credible scientists from around the world who present us with compelling evidence that climate change is happening and that the overwhelmingly likely cause is human pollution. Right now, Australia is experiencing more extreme weather events like bushfires, floods and cyclones. Right now, Australia is experiencing its hottest summer ever recorded. A price on carbon was introduced in Australia in July last year. Does your party propose to abolish this effective legislation simply because it's not your policy? Julie Bishop. His first statement about um, what Tony Abbott claims is in fact not correct. Tony Abbott has said on a number of occasions, many, many times, that climate change is real and that we should give the planet the benefit of the doubt. And so he's not um, in fierce argument with scientists at all, as has been alleged. Uh, we don't believe that a carbon tax will in fact uh, reduce Australia's contribution to global greenhouse gas emissions. In fact, on the government's own modelling, um, greenhouse gas emissions in Australia will rise under a carbon tax. So it doesn't have the environmental outcome that, under the government's own modelling, that, uh, the, that the environmentalists claim. We also don't believe that um, putting a tax on businesses is going to have this outcome. What it will do is send jobs, manufacturing overseas to countries where they don't have a carbon tax. So we miss out on the jobs, we miss out on the manufacturing, and it doesn't have the environmental outcome. So, yes, we will repeal the carbon tax. Christine Mill. Well, no, they won't repeal the carbon tax. Oh, uh, yes, we will. <laughs> the issue here is that um, right today, the Climate Commission has come out saying that extreme weather events are climate related. The intensity of extreme weather events has increased because of climate change and the whole of Australia has seen that this summer. In fact, we've seen you know, eight of the uh, 21 instances in the last 100 years where we've had a national average more than 39 degrees happen this year alone. So we actually have to reduce emissions and what we have found is that Australia's emissions have come down 8.5% since uh, carbon pricing has been introduced. It is essential that we not only uh, reduce our emissions, but we actually go much faster. And that's the benefit of having a market-based mechanism that we've put in place. And the problem with direct action is that it, 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 if it ever achieved 5%, which I don't believe it will, since 60% of its soil carbon, there's no methodology for that as it stands, but it can't be scaled up. So Tony Abbott doesn't take climate change seriously, doesn't take the science seriously. If you did, then you would be scared by what's happening and you would be moving to go faster, not try and slow it down. And the Greens in the Senate will stand there and not repeal the clean energy package because I want that $10 billion to go into renewable energy around Australia and into energy efficiency. And as for the jobs, let me tell you, China is moving on this with, uh, with some of their pilot emissions systems larger than the whole of what Australia is proposing. The US is moving in some states. We are now moving globally to a treaty in 2015 and Australia will be trading the possibilities that are there in the low carbon, zero carbon economy. That's where the new technology, where the excitement is, not in old coal fired technology. In the meantime, you're driving up electricity costs. OK, uh, watching Q&A. Remember, you can uh, send your web or video questions to our website. The address is on the screen. Our next question is a video. It's from uh, James Harrison in Turak, Victoria.